Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification next to it. I try to upload videos weekly, so when I do on YouTube, you will be notified through your email system. Now, I get a question a lot about the liver enzymes. What are they? How are they so important? And I'm going to go over a brief video of why those liver enzymes can be helpful or hurtful to your overall health. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. The short video I'm going to go over when I'm reading blood work, one of the things I'm looking for is the liver enzymes. The liver, okay, liver is a phenomenal organ. It has over 400 functions to your body. And if it's not working correctly, then this could be the leading cause of why you're feeling sickness, illness, and disease. So the liver enzymes that I'm looking at, AST, ALT, and ALP. Okay, the first one is AST, otherwise known as SGOT. Now, with functional medicine, I am looking at the, refer the reference range between 10 and 26 international units. Now, it's an enzyme, so the liver makes it. But however, other organs make small amounts. So when you're looking at the muscle injuries, okay, yes, you're going to have elevated AST markers in, your liver, in the liver blood work. Also do hyperthyroid. But again, what it's... A ST is an indicator of short-term damage. Okay, so basically you're really hitting that liver hard with what? Like alcohol, NSAIDs. Anytime you take NSAIDs or prescri prescription medication, sure, that has a possibility of elevating those, en those liver enzymes. Next one is ALT. And again, the reference range that I look at is anywhere between 10 to 26 international units per liter. Now again, this is short-term damage. This is a long-term damage one. Okay, so when I'm looking at ALT, I'm looking at what are you doing over the long term? And how, that, how I mark it in my head is that AST has an S to it. Okay, it's a lot with muscle injuries, skeletal muscle injuries. And S has also too indicative of short-term damage. Whereas ALT has the L to it. Okay, so this is a long-term damage. What have you been doing for the long period of your life which is causing an elevation in ALT enzymes? So again, it's vulnerable to long-term damage. And this is the fatty liver. This is the non-alcoholic fatty liver. Again, are you drinking it or are you eating it? Infections like the hepatitis, hepatitis B, hepatitis A, diabetes, hemochromatosis. This basically means that you're, you're processing too much iron in your body. What's going on? Again, this is a long-term damage. So the last one is ALP, okay? Now the measurement's a little bit more higher, a broader range. And this is 20 to, 20 to 140 international units per liter. Now, again, if there's an elevation in ALP, okay, this is an enzyme that's involved with breaking down proteins in the liver. Now, if that's elevated, that could be indicative of, number one, the bile duct is being blocked. What's going on with your bile duct, okay? Because it's involved with indicator gallbladder, liver, bones. Okay, is there something going on with the bones? Do you have some type of bone infection? Do you have some type of bone cancer? Okay, you're looking at hepatitis, gallstones, cirrhosis, liver cancer. So again, these are the three main liver enzymes that I'm looking at to basically get a baseline of what's going on with my patient's health. Now, some of the symptoms. Okay, this is a long-term abuse. Symptoms, jaundice. Okay, your skin is yellow. Fatigue, itchy feet. When somebody comes into my office and has itchy feet, the moment I, the first thing I want to look at is what's going on with those liver enzymes. Again, are you doing the short term or are you doing long term? Or what's going on with the gallbladder? Because the itchy feet is a big indicator something's wrong with the liver. So other information that will help tie me into what's going to, to, to create the bigger picture is if you have increased AST levels and increased ALT levels, I'm thinking about a viral hepatitis. Okay, because that's a combined short-term and long-term. What's going on? Is it a viral hepatitis? If you have increased AST and normal ALT, okay, what I'm looking at, I'm, and also to increase ALP, I'm looking at cirrhosis. What's going on? There's, a li there's something that's just being beat up in your liver, okay? If the AST levels are twice as high as the ALT levels, then I'm looking like an alcoholic liver. Okay, so these are just markers to do further digging with my patients. Now, if this happens, what do you do? Okay, first and foremost, off the cuff, even if I'm suspicious, lower your carbohydrates. Because what happens is that if you have too many carbs, you have too much insulin release. 
Okay, insulin has two jobs, and that's to shunt glucose into the cell, but also to fat storage. But also, too much liver will boggy up the liver. I'm sorry, too much insulin will cause a boggy liver and inflammation. Alcohol, none, not even a drop. You want to clean up those liver pathways. Medications, okay, you may want to talk to your primary doc or who's ever prescribed these medications to see what you can do to get off of them or lower the dosage. And vegetables, start eating a lot of vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables, the nightshades, all the vegetables are, are loaded with antioxidants, which will help this liver pathway, okay? And then we'll retest them and see where those liver enzymes have gone. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please share with a friend. Please hit the like button down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Be good. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwad. Hey, it's, over the last couple of years, my YouTube channel has grown tremendously, and I can only appreciate it, the viewers who subscribe. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button to get the first up-to-date videos, or you could always Google my name, Dr. Janan Jawad, and you could go to my JDoc Real Minute page. Again, if you hit the subscribe button, you'll get the most up-to-date videos, and thanks everybody who's watching. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.